Hello and welcome to this WP Zoom video screencast. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to manually update to the latest version of a WP Zoom theme. You want to do this if there's a new version of your theme available. And this process is very similar to installing a new theme from scratch, although you won't have to reset up any settings, just any that have changed or are new with the theme. This method is recommended when you haven't modified any of the theme files to customize it. And that's why we recommend using custom CSS or child themes. You'll find more detail about those at wpzoom.com and head to the support center. Unlike themes from wordpress.org, wpzoom themes don't have automatic updates included because sometimes people modify theme files directly. So with an automatic update, these would disappear. Although we're currently working on adding automatic updates. What you do get, however, is an update nag, as you can see, such as this one here, which is telling me a new version of Fudica theme is available. So this is a very simple process and it starts at wpzoom.com. You want to head over to my account, just click on that. This will take you to the WPZoom member dashboard. Here, you want to just scroll down, find the latest version of your theme, and just press download. Save those files onto your computer, and you can now head back to your WordPress dashboard. You now just need to replace the theme you currently have, which is out of date, with the latest version. Doing that, you just need to go to Appearance. Here you can see we've got Fudica activated, but temporarily we need to activate a different theme. So you want to choose one of the WordPress default themes because um, these will be always installed on your site. So at the time of recording, the latest version is 2017. So I can activate that, but you can choose any of the 20 series. At this point, if you don't want to show this alternative theme publicly, then you can install a maintenance mode plugin. And doing that is just a case of going to plugins, add new and searching for maintenance mode. Because this change only takes a couple of seconds, I'm going to go ahead without putting maintenance mode on. So you want to go ahead and click on theme details for your theme and then select delete. You'll be asked if you're sure and you are sure despite um, as scary as it sounds, deleting your theme. It's because all you need to do now is go to add new, upload theme and then choose the zip file you've just downloaded. You can click here or I can just drag and drop onto the choose file icon there. Press install now and WordPress will upload and install the theme and I can now activate. And with that, you've got your WP Zoom theme back up to date. If you visit your site, you'll be able to see if everything's working as it is. If anything's changed or any new features have been added, then head over to the WP Zoom theme options or the WordPress customizer and you'll be able to um, take a look through and customize those. You'll find more details about using the customizer, theme options, widgets, and so on with another video tutorial available at wpzoom.com. If you have any queries or run into any problems whilst updating your theme, then go to wpzoom.com, click on support, and our support team will be more than happy to help you with one-to-one -one personalized support. Otherwise, I hope this video has been helpful, and thank you very much for watching.